Wait a second. Where'd you go? Hi, Danielle. I want you all to hear this beautiful sound of the birds because there's a reason behind it. So I'm going to let it play for just a couple minutes and we're going to get started. The Lord picked this video for a purpose. The joy of the Lord is coming in the morning. I want you to hear this. What joy, what beauty, right? I also want to tell you the attacks have ended up so bad. After I got this word, I was midway in the word and I started to feel um, I needed to stop for a minute and pray. And so I said, Lord, please make sure that this word is all you and not me. I said, I'm going to start again at the beginning of what was written. And you let me know this is you and not me. Well, the Holy Spirit fell on me and I almost started bawling. And I got done with the word. And when I did, I went to give the dogs a treat to keep them quiet so I could go live. As I was coming out of my closet, I'm going to shut this off now. As I was coming out of my closet, I couldn't pick up my leg enough to get over some little thing from the uh, hamper that because I had just put a load of laundry in and I went flying but God had his hand on me because I could get badly hurt if I would have fallen you know too hard but he picked he helped me and I said Lord I can't get up help me to get up and he did then I come in here and I'm setting up to go live and he shows me this video and the beautiful birds and he said put this one on and as you start Leave it go live for a while with the birds to let them realize the word lines up with joy comes in the morning. Okay? As I was setting up, the thing exploded. I have to hold the phone. Satan is getting so mad because God's words will go forth. As, as Cindy said, and the Lord is standing true, you cannot shut the mouth of God. He couldn't hurt me, so he took my equipment, and it's not cheap. And let the thing just suddenly explode and break. I can't even put the phone up on a, in a tripod. So I have to go to the store today and have to get some equipment. Okay? That's fine. I do not mind. I do not care because God's words will not be uh, shut. So here's the word he gave me. Before I start with it, I'm telling you, his spirit is so strong right now. Before I start, he had a word for a woman. And I pulled out the personal part of hers. And I told her as I was giving her the word from the Lord, which she's included in this part as well. I want you to know that. And I want her to hear that. She's included in this as well. But that he continued on and said, now share this with his children because you need to hear it. So let me get started. I had it. I printed it off. That's right. And so he had his word to her, okay, which was quite personal, so I left that off. Then he goes from here. He just said, he will grant your desire to make it to that point when those in Christ are changed and will be used for his glory. <clears throat> this is hard to hold and read too, but I'm going to keep doing it. Just pray for me, okay? My finger, my hand's even hurting trying to do this. I will not stop. I will not be shut up and I will not be stopped no matter what he does. The reason he had me share that part, even though that is also to her, he said it's also for you and you'll see why. So he will grant you the desires, guys, to make it to the point when those that are in Christ shall be changed and will be used for his glory. He is saying daughter and, and son. All right, this is to both though now. You have been obedient, even though it tore you, tore at you because of your fear. You still stood and did what I have asked. Therefore, your wish has been granted to make it to the time of my coming. So for those of you that are under test, this, this little part won't be for every single person. But for those of you that have been asked by the Lord, I know I'm yelling, but this, phone, this thing, phone's kind of far away. Um, 
For, and plus, the Holy Spirit's all over me, and I'm just so filled with the Spirit, I could start dancing if I could. Those of you that have been put through the test, those of you that have been asked to do something and you were afraid to do it but did it anyway, that's for you. That part there was for you as it was for her. The guys and girls alike, okay? Um, let's see, where am I? Okay, well, make it to the time of my coming, the time when all shall be made new. You shall be made new and used for my glory, as in the days of old. But better shall these days be, my child, for those who have done what has been asked, those who have stood the test of time, will now come full circle to the now outpouring of my spirit, the miracles that are now about to be poured out. And those who have stood this test will not be brought to a place of, well now, I'm sorry, I, I accidentally typed not, will now be brought to a place of new life, new beginnings. For what I'm about to do in your lifetime has never been done before or since. But this shall be the greatest display of my glory than ever in history. For I came as, see, I'm sorry, some of my typing was bad because I, when he talks, I just go to town. I don't necessarily type it out right, you know, as far as spelling stuff. For I came in as a humble child, but I will now come as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. I shall display my glory in ways unknown to man. Oh my gosh, the spirit's all over me. I could just start crying. I'm getting chills upon chills. But they will know that my word is true. That my word is alive. I am coming for those who said yes, Lord, even through the battle. I am coming for those who humbled themselves there before me and said, yes, your will, not mine. I am coming for those who put all aside for my name's sake. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Look up, for I am soon to come and take you for myself to be used in a way you would not believe if I have had told you. For all shall see the glory of the Lord, says God. Watch, for I am even at the door. Stay steadfast, says God. Do not let your enemy steal your hope or your joy. Many are crying out to me, but know that joy comes in the morning. Walk in peace and be filled with my love, says the Lord your God. Guys, I can't even express the emotions I'm feeling. God is coming. I don't know the timing, but he is saying for those of you who stood the test of time, who went through the battles and failed not, who went through the battles and feared not, who went through the battles and fainted not, God said, look up and be ready for I will use those of you who measured, who, who came out winning, even in the battle, even in the storm, even in the attacks, even in the illness, all of it. He said, I'm coming. Be ready. Get prepared. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. For my coming is soon and I'm going to use you in these last days. You will bring in a mighty harvest for my goodness, for my purpose. I am going to show the goodness of God. I am going to display my glory in every way. You will see it displayed by the exposures of those who have done corrupted mean things. They will be brought down, says God. You will see my display in the weather. You will see my display in the transformation of the bride. Oh, do not be dismayed. Do not lose your hope. Do not walk in fear. For my hand is upon you, and my hand is in both good and bad. I am in the wind and the storm. I am in the rays of joy joy and sunlight and I am in your battles I am standing with you through it for through it my goodness will be displayed my glory will be displayed you will be a testimony of who the true God is I am in good and bad be not dismayed and do not judge what is happening in front of you and around you do not say God why do you allow this do you not love me why do you allow this are you punishing me no says God I am bettering you and I am bringing about my purpose I am bringing about my purpose and I am you 
using you. I am measuring others against you and you against others. I am showing my goodness by allowing these things, God says. My purpose must come forth. My word is alive. I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life. And those who come to me shall be saved, says God. And many will attack you, which shows measure against them. Many are backbiting, which shows measure against them. They are not ready yet. Pray for them. Seek my face on their behalf, for they shall not be used for my glory if they continue in these evil ways. They shall be exposed. Have you not noticed that those who have done this, who call themselves mine, are now walking away in anger, saying, how dare you, how dare you say such things about those of God? No, says the Lord, because you are not mine is why I say it. I don't say it to put down those. I I say it to tell those, be ready, get right, lay down your will for mine, lay down your your haughtiness, lay down your manners of judgment and demeaning of the bride, of those who are supposed to be brethren and sisters of yours. I am telling you to make it right with me, says God. This is why I bring it forth, not to show judgment, to show that I love you enough to reach out one more time, to reach out one more time for those who are mine to pray and lay it down before me, of those who are not ready, those who are lukewarm, those that will be the hardest to reach, says God. Are you ready? If you're not, get on your face before me. Humble your hearts before me, for I am a just God. I am a true God, and I am a God of order. I am a God of holiness. I am a God of righteousness, and I shall not uh, agree to anything less, says God. But you, if you are mine, you will be worthy. You will be humbled. You will have a heart of a repentance. You will come to a place of repentance daily. Not because you are so bad, but because I am so good. Because I am so holy. And because I expect nothing less of my children. I expect you to give me your all as I have given you all. I expect you to lay down yourselves upon my altar and allow me to use you for my glory. I expect you to come clean when you mess up. But know this, that I am a, a good God. I am a loving God with justice, yes, but mercy and grace. So come now and pray for your brethren who are still backbiting, who are still being haunting, who are not humbled, who are not of mine as of yet, but they think they are. They are so close. They want to be, but they have allowed the world's ways, the world prays, the world shining upon them, bringing them fame to come ahead of the right way, of the holy way, of the righteous way, of God's way, of my way. Do you hear what I'm saying, children? Get yourselves right. Get yourselves ready for my Glory is about to be displayed. Have I not said it? Will I not do it? Is it not in my word? Have I not given visions and messages through many that I am soon to display my glory in ways unknown to man, unknown to them and beyond their understanding, beyond their means of measure of, of, of understanding or hope? Many of you are try, uh, starting to lose hope, have gotten discouraged. Don't. You don't understand my ways, and that is fine. It is not for you to understand my ways. It is you for to trust my ways. It is you to l allow me to let my will come above yours. I'm sorry, I'm tired. He's so fast. He's so, there's so much anointing. I'm trying to get out what he's saying. The Lord is saying that you must allow yourselves to trust without question. You must allow him to move in your lives in whatever measure he sees fit, in whatever way he deems worthy. If it means a battle, if it means attacks, know that in the end times as of now, the attacks will heighten. The attacks will get harder because those who shall be used of God, Satan is trying to take out. Satan is trying to shut up. Satan is putting on battles and attacks even from your own brother. 
brethren. Because if it works, why not do it? But don't allow this to come in the way of me, says God. Do not allow these attacks to come in the way. And do not allow yourselves to engage. Do not allow yourselves to lower yourself to that level of backbiting back, of demeaning back. This is not my will, says God. The time is now, says God, to ready yourselves. For what is about to be displayed is so close, even at the door. Be ready, says the Lord. And pray for those lost. Pray for those lukewarm warm. Pray for those who are being exposed for what they truly are. Pray for them. Repent for them. Stand in the gap for them so that my mercy will come upon them and give them a second and third and fourth chance. But the time is now, says God. Do not wait. Do not lose this moment. Repent now of all and lay it under the blood for what is coming is upon you now, says God, both good and bad, including me. I am at the door. I am coming. I am coming for that bride who is spotless. I am coming to use her, transform her for my glory. Did not many of you have visions and dreams of being transformed, being out there in the world, but bringing in a harvest, not being not coming to harm, but being used for my glory in ways you never thought possible. This is that time, says God. This is that time that my spirit now is being poured out. This is that time that when my glory is displayed again and again, the revivals will start up. The revivals will start. When do they start, says God? Did you notice 9-11? Yes, that's when they started. But many fell away. Many fell back into the worldly ways. Now is that time. But this time they won't fall away because my glory will never stop. My glory will never stop being displayed, God says. This is the end of time. This is the end of days. And what I'm about to do will be bigger and greater than in the days of old, says God. This that I'm about to do will have never been done in history and never will again. Are you ready? Let my glory be displayed, says God, in your lives. Humble yourselves before me, for I am the clay. You are the clay, and I am the master, and I am molding you right now. I am refining for the last time. I am firing for the last time, says God. Be ready. Let my love enfold you. Let my grace fill you, and let my mercy be new each morning. For daily, die to self, and allow me to use you for my glory, for the time is now, says God. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory, guys. I don't know what's about to happen, but he is so strong. I'm going to get this going and have it up by tonight on YouTube. Guys, I got to go to the store. I can't hold this phone so long for a whole service tonight. Just pray for me. Satan is hitting me at every end. First, he tries to throw me across the room because my legs can't be lifted up. And God help me not to get hurt. And then as I try to go live, this thing explodes and literally just breaks and falls apart. That's, that's Satan trying to stop. But God says you cannot shut up the mouth of God and he will not shut me up. I will keep going no matter what, right? I love you guys. I'm sorry if this is a little broken up, shaky, and um, I had to stop a couple times because it was just so emotional for me. His word, his presence is so strong. I love you guys. I'm trying to be back in time for the service tonight, so just pray because it's a long drive. It's an hour and a half. And if I'm not, we'll start service late, but it will go on because that's God's will, right? Love you. Have a blessed day, guys.